Hi guys, it's Kaz and today I'm here to share with you what is in my book bag. This is the size of my handbag, which is totally fine if I'm just going shopping, if I'm going out for dinner. More times than not I'm going to work or I'm going to uni, which involves breaks, which equates to reading time. And I can't fit a book in here. So instead of buying a bigger bag, I have been using a book bag. Pretty much any tote bag that I own, and I own a lot of tote bags, uh, that I put my books into and any other bits and bobs that don't fit into my handbag. And this is the most recent tote bag that I have been using. It is the most adorable thing ever. I love it so much. But anyway, let me show you what I have in my book bag. Now this pretty much goes everywhere with me. Like, I mean everywhere. If I'm going anywhere where there's a possibility that I will have time to read, the book bag comes too. So the most important thing I think is sustenance. You need brain food. And for me, that's chocolate. So I have Milky Top Fred and Frogs. These are my most recent obsession and there's only one left in here. I opened it this morning. I also have two pairs of glasses, so my sunglasses, and my regular glasses, especially if I'm going to uni because if I'm in a lecture hall, I can't see the lecture slides. I also have this adorable travel mug. It says, though she be but little, she is fierce. Shakespeare. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I love my tea and I love my chai lattes. So I usually take this one with me when I'm going to work in particular because I have all my tea bags and stuff at work since I'm there quite a lot. I also have this magical weapons notebook. I always have a notebook with me, whether that be for any writing ideas, but I've been using this one in particular for all of my video related stuff. So I've got kind of like reviews and some video idea lists and TBR stuff in here. So I always keep this with me because I often remember things that I do need to include in videos or videos that I need to do while I'm out and about. And I think the most important item in my book bag is hiding in this pouch right here, which I love as well, by the way, weapons of mass creation because I do like to write too. So ah, I thought it was fitting. I have my book in a pouch. Um, when I initially started using a book bag, I just used the bag to pretty much just carry around the book. And that was several years ago when I did have a slightly larger handbag. So I was able to fit more into my handbag. But after buying this one, my book bag has progressively been containing more and more things. So I decided to use this pouch to put the book inside, inside the bag, because I'm quite particular about not destroying my books. Because having a book lying around in a bag Bag with a bunch of other items often leads to crumpled or ripped pages. So this is quite handy for keeping my book safe and for me this is like the perfect size as well because while it is quite large uh, for this paperback book it perfectly fits all of my hardcover books and even those extra large like the abnormal sized books like big graphic novels this fits it as well so it's it's a perfect for any book that I need to bring with me. So those are all the things that are in my book bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you also have a book bag I'd love to hear what items or odds and ends you put in your bag. And if you like the look of any of these things right here, I'll leave a link down below to where you can buy them. I also want to say a massive thank you to Redbubble for sending me most of the things that I showed you today. I am a huge fan of Redbubble. It's basically this online store where you can buy things like tote bags and notebooks, but also clothes, iPhone cases, things like that. And the actual images that are printed onto these things are created by independent artists, which I think is fantastic. I've used Redbubble so many times in the past uh, for getting myself fandom TV book related things but I've used it so many times for gifting people as well um, I think I sent Ariel and Jesse some red bubble shirts a little while ago they've just got some super awesome super awesome stuff there so if you guys are interested the link is down below you can also get 20% off anything on the store if you use the coupon code Katrina my funky spelling Katrina so just copy and paste it if you're not sure the coupon works throughout the month of August so if you're interested feel free to do that but I think that's about all that I have for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.